both of your bodies. Um, together, we had a similar call. Um, Darren Stern, yes, it lasted since 1970. Um, I know the banking system well. I think I know money flow pretty well from an investor's perspective. So, to be clear on the directions on blockchain tech, what are the three tenets of money that you just espoused? What are the three tenets of money? Store value, number one. That's number two. Uh, a unit of account. And number three? Fungibility. Okay, so. Stable store of value. Stable store of value. So, my company has created a shit coin, okay, using Delmet Law in the US and many other countries, such as European countries, represents a unit of gold stored in the vault. It is stable. As a matter of fact, it is significantly more stable than the U.S. reserve, no. than the U.S. dollar reserve. It is not stable. Currency. Yes, One second. Okay. <laughs> Go back 40 years. Right. Let's take a look at several of the currencies. Ran by Central Bank. Over the last 40 years, the Nigerian Naira has lost on the percent of value to gold. The Indian rupee has lost 95 percent. The U.S. dollar has lost 75 percent. I'm sorry. The Euro, the U.S. dollar has lost 50 percent. Even the Swiss franc. Right, which used to be the strongest fear currency, so it's 15 percent. If we lost more than 15 percent, except up to 2000, it was backed by gold. So, if you create a quote unquote shit coin backed by gold, 100 percent, you be up on demand, like the US dollar academically was, in great words, you have uh, money using every tenant of the definition that you subscribe. Plus, you have the ability to program it, run it through small contracts. You have the ability to have it independent and autonomy from the central bank. So I am at a loss to see the logic behind spamming everything blockchain related. Okay? The whole, what, 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 what you're suggesting is what you're suggesting is a digital gold standard. Yeah. We tried the gold standard, it worked for a while until it didn't work. No, the and the price of gold the true. price of gold was at uh, 2,000, five years ago, and 1,000 today, is not a stable purchasing power over any good. Okay. And there's no reason to use gold. Okay. Sorry to say. So, so here's yes. your argument. Sorry, sorry. sorry. So my, my so, quick uh, comment is that so, you can win an election because you are, have a kind of a presence and uh, influence people and get control over this central bank <laughs> which holds information about <laughs> I just, I just, hundreds of millions of accounts and the millions of people working for you. <laughs> the other thing, a factual debate, just what you said. So, you're saying gold went from 1900 to 1000, more like 1900 to 1300. That variation is less than the US dollar. So, if you're going to not hold the standard or hold, then you're not going to reserve currency. So, the reserve currency. Using your own not true. In the more last power decade, power that than gold. the, the value of the US dollar as a purchasing power over goods, that is what people care, has changed the less than 1% per year. It's a very stable store of value and purchasing power over goods. And people, when they want to be paid in something, want to know that my real wages can buy these goods and services, and they cannot be wiped out by 20% overnight like Bitcoin, or cannot be wiped out by 50% relative to gold, other things, over a period of time. And that's why we need something that's stable. So, of course, to have something stable, you have to have fiat currencies where credible central bank are committed to low inflation, so you don't debase your currencies by having high inflation. Otherwise, you create problems. But come on, I mean, it's not going to debate about digital currency. You want to create a digital gold? Please, create your digital gold. Okay, okay. Nobody's going to use it. Every single stable coin and your environment of that is going to collapse like every fixed rate regime. Well, the collapse is because of your there's no credible no 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 collateral. Okay, now I'm giving to Alex. I am absolutely flabbergasted at the amount of attention this man gets. Despite the fact he spouts false facts and misdirection. Definitely not empirically grounded. Have nothing against Mr. Rubini personally, but come on. Next year, in Davos 2020, Veritasium will host its own symposium, and we will have heavy hitting 
facts. We will have contributors and speakers who have accomplished significant feats and in investment, entrepreneurial pursuits, and building real things. For those of you who are looking for empirical analysis, fundamental, macro, and opinion, which is a bit more grounded in fact and reality, I invite you to come over to Veritasium.com and, of course, try our digital gold products.